Here's a quick story that will explain why I've got this screwdriver. A couple of years back, I did my motivational strongman show for a construction company up in New York. At the end of the show, someone had requested the rebar ribbon for someone they knew who has a little boy who at the time had cancer. That person friended me on Facebook so I could see how he's doing. He's okay now, thank goodness. Anyway, her having a son whose immune system is compromised was understandably irritated by people refusing to wear masks and ignoring the restrictions that have been put in place and was venting about it on Facebook. And I saw someone had posted this as a comment on her post, and I quote, We are not in the same boat. I heard we are all in the same boat, but it's not like that. We are all in the same storm, but not in the same boat. Your ship could be shipwrecked, and mine might not be, or vice versa. For some, quarantine is optimal. A moment of reflection, of reconnection, easy in flip-flops with a cocktail or coffee. For others, this is a desperate financial and family crisis. For some that live alone, they're facing endless loneliness, while for others, it is peace, rest, and time with their mother, father, sons, and daughters. With the $600 weekly increase in unemployment, some are bringing in more money to their households than when they were working. Others are working more hours for less money due to pay cuts or loss in sales. Some families of four just received $3,400 from the stimulus, while other families of four saw nothing. Some were concerned about getting a certain candy for Easter, while others were concerned if there would be enough bread, milk, and eggs for the weekend. Some want to go back to work because they don't qualify for unemployment and are running out of money. Others are enraged at those who break the quarantine. Some are home spending two to three hours a day helping their child with online schooling, while others are spending two to three hours a day to educate their children on top of a 10 to 12 hour work day. Some have experienced the near death of the virus. Some have already lost someone from it, and some are not sure if their loved ones are going to make it. Others don't believe this is a big deal. Some have faith in God and expect miracles during this 2020. Others say the worst is yet to come. So friends, we are not in the same boat. We are going through a time when our perceptions and needs are completely different. Each of us will emerge in our own way from the story. It is very important to see beyond what is seen at first glance. Not just looking, actually seeing. We are all on different ships during the storm, experiencing a very different journey. Compassion is key. Let it be your guide. Unknown author. Compassion is key to this, to not just surviving the pandemic, but also to keeping our humanity. Without it, we are screwed. Screwdriver. Soft suede for a bit of protection. During my last couple of attempts, they snapped on me. Screwdriver. The handle on that one broke. Let's bend the actual metal part. Because that one was way too easy. Actually, that one was easy too, but oh well, I'm not filming this one again. Anyways, compassion is key. I thank you for watching. Please stay healthy and safe, and if you like the content, please like and subscribe. Anyways, Eric Moss, over and out.